These beasts are feeding on that carcass. If only we could pour some sleeping potion on it. They're sleeping. We should be able to pass without a fight. Look at the basin and the symbols around it. Given the islanders' taste for rituals and enigmas, I think you should touch the water. You were freezing and you had this empty stare. The water in the basin spoke to you, no? Yes. Exactly like the lightning struck tree. I was something else for a brief moment. Tell us. Visions like this are guides, a keys for the sacred rituals. I was in the sky. I was floating, carried by the wind. And it was a cold feeling. I was high up, and it was getting colder and colder. I felt my blood freezing in my veins. I fell to the ground and spun slowly. And then the sun warmed me. Suddenly I bounced on the ground. And I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Then, just like before, the vision dissipated. And I was suddenly with you again. I need a bit of practice. This must be the seal that Glendan spoke about. It looks like the silhouette of the mountain of Tirfredi. And a face is drawn within it. The spirit of the volcano. 
One of the faces of Einon Mir Frichtemann. The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire. I'm certain. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. On this stone, the sun is visible. This stone is blackened. This stone is adorned with the etching. Here this looks like a snowflake. This drawing looks like an infant. Could it represent life? Once again, these visions open gates. Try to remember them. I was in the sky. I was floating, carried by the wind. And it was a cold feeling. I was high up, and it was getting colder and colder. I felt my blood freezing in my veins. I fell to the ground and spun slowly. And then the sun warned me. Suddenly I bounced on the ground. And I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Then, just like before, the vision dissipated. And I was suddenly with you again. Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this candle. Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this candle. Evidently, I shouldn't have lit this candle.
Carantz, could you help me once more? What is it? I must prepare the ritual for our mother's funeral, and I think that I will need your help. But your sister will be there. Surely you'd rather be together. For the ritual, yes, it will only be the two of us. But before that, your support would be a great help. Will you come with me? Alas, I have other urgent tasks I must- I understand. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. These beasts are feeding on that carcass. If only we could pour some sleeping potion on it. You did it. They're sleeping. We should be able to pass without a fight. Look at the basin and the symbols around it. Given the islander's taste for rituals and enigmas, I think you should touch the water. This must be the seal that Glendan spoke about. It looks like the silhouette of the mountain of Tirfredi. And a face is drawn within it. The spirit of the volcano. One of the faces of Einar Mil Frichtemann. Tear to mud on Almanawi. I congratulate you for passing the trial. Enter. Uh, 
And so you have returned. Can you tell me what the seal deep within the cavern brings into your mind? A face in the mountain of Tirfredi. Then you have seen the true face of the island when looking into her waters. And the island has seen inside you. You sent the beasts into a deep sleep. That was very clever. Another before you did the same. In choosing the path of silence, you avoided confronting the Dosantats. Finally, you have completed the ritual. And in so doing, the Guardian recognized you as a wise man. You choose to trust the way of rules and wisdom. It is a difficult path, but it carries generous fruits. The island has seen your intelligence and also your compassion. The friendship of Katasach towards you no longer surprises me. Am I authorized to encounter Enor Mil Frichterman now? To present him with my request? If the High King agrees, yes. We shall not oppose that decision. Only a High King or High Queen is allowed to open the sanctuary. I warned you, your voyage is far from over. I suppose that I'm going to need to convince them as well. Where can I find them? I do not know. And I believe that it may be another trial on your path to find the one you seek. Is he hiding? Has he been captured? He disappeared several months ago. Since then we have not heard from him. He was worried about the Renaixe. The last people to have seen him, I'm told, were the most important chiefs of the clans here at the council. There was Dedra, Blatnid, Ulan and Dunkas. My mother, alas, can tell us nothing more. Yes, I heard about your loss, Yora. And the Vorst Tirse. Morning is a difficult time to pass. And the Vorst Tirse. Thank you, Glinda. Dedra is the Mal of the clan of the Storm Warriors. You will find her in the village of Vedlug. I've already met her. She sent me to confront a guardian. That sounds like her. Ulan is the mall of the village of Vignamri, near the coast. It is said that he welcomes the Renaxe. As for Dunkas, he leads the Vigigidor. He is the chief of the Earth Healers. His village is not very far from the Didekid and Nadagais. Very well. I will go and see them. Try to find this High King. Thank you, Glenda. Kwa while I'm sick. I hope that you will find him. I must return to my village to prepare my mother's funeral, but fear I won't have the strength to do. Will you come with me? Of course. I'd be happy to be by your side. Let's go.
Siora, Asir. Always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? I'm only here to accompany Siora. I came to give our mother back to the Earth, Iseld. It is high time we did, I know. Performing the ritual might help me feel less empty. Iseld, I miss her too. Did you go to Vasrigan? No. Preparing the place is the role of the Donegada. I was afraid I would not do things properly.
We are approaching Vasdigan. This is where I will perform the ritual. This burial mound has been the final resting place of our queens for generations. It must be prepared before we can start the ritual. Something's wrong. Normally, you would hear the birds singing in this place. What do you mean? You think intruders would risk coming here? There. Tenants. This is not their natural habitat at all. We cannot leave them here. So close to the burial mound. in the shadow of the burial mound. In that case, we have no choice but to destroy their nests. Otherwise, they'll just keep coming back. You are right. We cannot let these carnivores roam so close to my mother's remains. Get him down! 
will no longer trouble the peace of our queen. All we have to do now is to take care of this ceremony. Is there anything else to prepare? Of course. We will need some sensors crafted especially for the ritual. Where can we find them? It would be ideal if we could craft them ourselves, but otherwise the village artisan probably sells them. And I will also need some mortuary lotion. I will have to coat my mother's body with it before giving her back to the earth. I will give you a list of all the ingredients because we will have to prepare it ourselves. The merchants won't sell it. Once we have gathered these last items, then Iseld and I will be able to perform the ritual. I thank you for being by my side and helping me the way you are. It... it means a lot to me. Don't mention it, Siora. We have all that we need. Let's go back to the burial mound to put everything in place. Here we are. It is on this stone altar that we will place the body of my mother. We must place a sensor where her head will be. And another near her feet. And then you will have done everything you could to help me. And I am infinitely grateful for it. Your presence by my side means a lot to me. But only my sister and I can participate in the ceremony. This is how our ritual of the dead is performed. Do you understand? It is on this stone altar that we will place the body of my mother. We must place a sensor where her head will be. And another near her feet. 
And then you will have done everything you could to help me. And I am infinitely grateful for it. Your presence by my side means a lot to me. This is how our ritual of the dead... There. Everything is in place. Thanks again, Onor Manawi. My sister should be joining me soon. You should wait outside. Oh, these rituals are demanding. But they help us to say goodbye to those we love. You have been a true friend. A Karantz, accepting to help me the way you did. Thank you. I will never forget the kindness you displayed. Conforming to our customs and staying by my side. It's only natural, Siora. I know what it feels like to lose someone who is dear to you. We should go now. It is time to return to the living. Lieutenant, I demand an explanation. Tell us what is going on. 
We haven't heard anything about Lord Dorsey's condition in spite of our inquiries. We are extremely worried. And then, all of a sudden, one of his guards appears, shaken and on his own, though he is part of his retinue. Please, allow me the chance to shed some light, my lady. Your soldier is nothing more than a coward for abandoning his highness. Tell me, what is going on? This soldier has just reported in. He is asking for reinforcements. He believes that Lord Dorsey has been attacked. He believes? He ran here without full knowledge of what happened firsthand. I... I was sent on patrol far from the camp, but I heard screams from men and from beasts. I wanted to return to camp, but then I heard a deafening sound, grinding like a landslide. I thought then it would be best just to go and get help. Thank you, Lieutenant. You are dismissed. I would like to have a discussion with this man alone. Yes, sir. My lady, could you lead these fine people into the hallway, if you would be so kind? Certainly. I deplore this embarrassing turn of events. But know that you have my full support in all circumstances. In the interest of avoiding a general panic, tell me precisely what happened back there. Your cousin ordered us to escort him beyond the town limits. The islander convinced him to go on some journey. By Islander, do you mean the Denegad that came to treat his affliction? Yes. A, a strange bird. Missing more than one feather, you ask me, sir. I, I was ordered to set up patrol along a small path, rather far from the rest of the company. I was told to protect our perimeter from anyone wandering along. According to the Islander, it was the only access to their planned destination. I did my rounds for quite some time. Not a soul came along. But then I heard cries a ways off, and I went running to help. I heard an enormous crashing sound, li like an avalanche of rocks. So then I turned right back around. And you ran all the way here? Do you know precisely where the company was when you heard these sounds? No, not precisely. I hadn't gone there. But I could show you where I was posted. The Islander said they were following the path, but he was quite a ways ahead when I lost sight of them. Why didn't you go and look for yourself? To see if they had been buried by a rock slide? What? Alone? What could I have done? It seemed of greater urgency to go and get help. I'm still having trouble deciding if cowardice or intelligence got the best of you. But that's a question for your superiors. My cousin was quite weak. Do you know why he decided to follow the Denegad? His Highness was feeling much better. The potions that he was drinking must have been potent. I mean to show no disrespect to His Highness, but that islander had the high ground in the War of Wits. I wasn't privy to their counsel. I haven't the beginning of an explanation for the expedition, but your cousin was all full of enthusiasm and ordered that we set out as quick as we could make ready. That sounds like him. What sort of mess has he gotten himself into? Again. I am sorry, sir, but I don't know anything else I could tell you. Dismissed, soldier. Looks like I'm going on an expedition. Thank you, sir.
may be enlightened. This is the camp that Constantine's escort must have established. Someone or something attacked and tore everything to shreds. This seems all too familiar. Search the zone. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what's happened here. Most of the weapons are missing. Our soldiers wouldn't have taken a rest without defenses. The tents were lacerated by what looks like claws. And there are traces of blood everywhere. Some of these men must have been attacked in their sleep. By beasts? Our soldiers were attacked by surprise. And there were animals among the assailants. However, our men reacted properly. They were armed and they fled as best they could. There are no bodies. And no sign of Constantine or Catasac's presence here. Perhaps they were in another place and the soldiers wanted to join them. We need to follow the tracks. been trampled. An entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the zone and taken this path followed by their assailants. This is a sacred place of a native cult. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. There are bodies and without a doubt there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. The corpses of both men and beasts. These soldiers fought dearly until the end. Neither Constantine nor Katasak are among them. A crater, without a doubt caused by an explosive potion. The soldiers might have been carrying them. They must have been desperate to have taken such drastic measures. a native ritual knife and this bowl contained a potion someone wanted to perform a ritual here could Katasak have found a better means to alleviate Constantine's symptoms Constantine and Katasak must have been visiting this place perhaps performing some sort of healing ritual when the attack took place the soldiers intervened and many fell during the fight but a group was able to escape down this path we need to continue following their tracks. More tracks. Footprints. They must have fled this way. Strange. These trees look half calcinated, as if they were exposed to immense heat. These weapons are in terrible condition. Whatever did these men come up against? 